Now. <laughs> well, I feel like I'm going to be sick. I feel broken, but I am glad I came. I'm broken. <laughs> say something this is so fucking heavy how did you wear it I wore it did you wear it to war is it a, what is it is it a sporran an arabic sporran hang on what do you what why are you throwing away the crash mat? why does anyone need a crash mat if you're I'm not sharing a film involving stuff that's the sort of thing that when you throw it away you're going to go, oh my God, we, th we kept crash mats for 10 years and then we threw them away. Well, do we need two? We've got another tent here as well. Oh God, look, we've got an Egyptian collection fitted sheep. A what? Nice new fitted sheep for your mum. Mm. That five years up in the lot. There's lots up there, babe. It's I like think, a fucking... I bought that the same day I bought the blind. It's like a, it's the same day you bought this Egyptian headpiece. I think we should have it dark. Oh, red. babe, stop! It would be dark nice, actually. Red. Yes, dark. Red. Dark would be, dark would be nice. Like a boudoir. Our bedroom's going to be dark. In what way? Dark. Okay, I've got the dark, but in what way? How? What dark? I don't know, I'll tell you. You see it when it's done. Thematically dark? So you need to put these crash mats back on. I'm not putting stuff back. Are you fucking Mom, joking me? Don't throw away the crash mats. A, it's going to take up half the skip. B, you're going to need a crash mat. I swear to God. I've got a really strong premonition that you're going to need to crash. <laughs> That's why we, precisely, sense comes from the mouth of children. What is that on my side? Of, oh God, I thought I'd bruise myself. We don't throw anything away because we think we need it all. That's why we haven't thrown it. We're not mad crash people. Mat. Crash man. Do we need two? Oh, I obviously only needed one. What a great thing when people stay the night. What, to throw them at? A crash mat. What, push them down the stairs? I'm sorry. Okay, go away now. I want to talk. talk. No. They're so uncomfortable. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. You have to have something with a bit of firmness. Just say no, Kiki. It's really and depressing. all the stuff up there, you bring down the crash mat. Because it was on top. It's like the mattress, it gets in the way. I can't believe everything I've thrown down. In a minute, you're going to say... Oh, Let me see. Do you're going to say, we need this. Now, now you're saying that I think I might need a I crash mat. I think you should throw the crash mats away in the sink, in the skip. I'm not going to throw them I mean, away. And let's keep the one that's been unopened. And let's give away the other one. Oh, God, that sound. No, don't, 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 Mark. Oh, God, I keep thinking what's weighing me down, and it's this strange Tutankhamun neck piece. Oh, what are these? Who did these? I'm getting... I've got pigeon duck shit in my mouth. Right, out of the way, the shoes are coming down. Last bit. That's it. Don't throw anything, I'm under it. What's this? What the fuck is this? Don't throw anything. No, we might have kitchen doors. Oh, God. Oh my god, this takes me back! This is from horse riding. Ned! Easy up Pampers! It's 2016 and we've still got nappies. Nah. 
Dad. Yeah. Hate to say it. Looks like someone's been praying up here. Yeah, it does. Mark, please. Come on, Mark. Mad. No, I'm not Honestly. Mm -hmm. I've just found some weird jewellery. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is this? Oh my God, Kuki. Come and look. Oh, I'm trapped, Nad. Is she gonna get him in? I can't get down quickly enough. So this desk is going up to Kiko's, but everything is an interconnected nightmare. And I'll explain why. Just this simple act. This has found a home upstairs in Kiki's room. Every single drawer holds the key to Vlogmas. It has so many bits. Well, what we'll do is we'll get a box marked everything that was in the <laughs> we'll mark it. Everything that was in the hall desk. Is that gonna in here? <laughs> and then are we gonna seal it? <laughs> everything leads to something else. Everything unravels oh, another. No, everything we've trouble. pulled out the fucking loft. You've said that there's a compelling argument. There's a compelling argument to put it back. Everything. I'm taking back what I yeah, said. She even mats. nearly took the pants. Let's all remember, we're going to be buying crash mats in the next, within the next six months. <sighs> what I was that? I, I, ever since we've come back from holiday, uh, I, have uh, not, I have been feeling physically sick. Oh, nice. Thanks for and that. And I haven't been able to share this with any of you. Go on in. Some kind of fucking animal has got on top of the scarf thing because we've lost the inflatable lid, so we've only got the outer lid, so it sinks in the middle. Some animal has got on there and shat on there. That's not a nice way to describe and Dina's friends coming we... over. <laughs> that's not nice. They came over for a bit now of fun and a prosecco, and you're saying they took a shit on the... Mark, it's an animal. It's a bird. Ma, what kind of a bird shits like that? Have you seen it? <laughs> it's got a... It's curled. Yeah, like ice cream. Mark, please get rid of it because... I, soon Why do the I pool, have to get rid of the shit? Soon the pool, pool is going to go green because I can't bear to go anywhere near that. I need it to be removed and the lid to be taken away and to be sprayed and me never see it again. That is a man's job. Sorry. I don't care if there's man's or women's jobs. That's a man's job. I can't do it. I think it was an emu. It's like a bloody prehistoric emu. <laughs> it's enormous. Thanks. Why? A massive garden right in the middle of the spa. <laughs> so annoying. I think it was someone called Pete. Well, please do it because like, every time we go to bed, I'll try because I feel so sick. <laughs> it's nice, nice that you're thinking about that last minute before you go to I've, sleep. I've kept it secret from all of you because I haven't known how to break the news. I must admit, I went out and I thought, what's causing that shadow? And it was the poo. Oh, please do something. Sometimes you've got to use the appropriate tool for the appropriate job. Okay, I'm bringing the appropriate tool to pull the things off the wall. And the appropriate tool sometimes may look like it comes in small sizes, which is kind of important. Yeah, I think I'm across not doing it in a way that means it falls on me, Ned. Thank, thanks for your woman splaining. It might, it might not look great. Oh, Mark, where's your new one? Hang on. You don't need to use a bigger tool if a small one could put. Look, look, look. What is that? What is that? What's it becoming? Are you telling me that when you like, did you like to Gabby the other day when you said you've got a bigger tool at all? No. Is that all you bought? No, I've shown you that actually. It's the one in the big case. But why use a big tool when you don't need a big tool? Oh, well done. With your little extension. Shut the fuck up.
Oh, we're managing to get them out. Oh, mate. This is going so well. It really is, isn't it? I think, oh, I don't even have to look at it. I can just look at the weather. Careful, don't start showing off. Who's eating grapefruit? Mm. Oh, mate. Don't hold it while it's turning. You'll that. cut your finger. Great, isn't it? Look, I like it. Yeah, just get on with it, Mark. That's a nice bit. Do you want a round of applause? Okay, just move this out of the way. Careful it doesn't fall in your eye. Are you enjoying yourself? This nearly killed Keith, didn't it? Are you enjoying yourself? Like the bookshelf nearly killed the dog. I didn't put the fucking bookshelf No, but that carpenter did. I know, but I'm picking up the pieces for this carpenter's mistakes. I'm being blamed. This is a proxy war. You're not being blamed. I am. You're being blamed for taking so long to take. Those off. I can't see. Well, your muscles look nice. Your muscles look really good. Oh. Now the big judgment is going to be this one. Oh, oh shit. She said. What was it, Dina said? Dina said, "For God's sake." Yeah, hang on. Which one are you going to take? I'm not going to start on the top. I'm going to start on the bottom. No, 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 no. She said to two. No. No, because then it can hang from the top. No, but she said if it's hanging, then it's going to fall. It's going to fall because it will rip it off. Mark, careful, stop. Because she said if you start, it will fall on your head. Because the weight of it. Oh, no, no, that can't be right. No, it can't be right. As long as I hold it, it'll be fine. As long as I hold it, it'll be fine. Hang on. Yeah, just keep holding it, because otherwise it's going to be okay. <laughs> Mark, don't don't put the drill near your head. Go? You've got to Mark, just leave the screws. <laughs> you don't need them. Hank, that's not the screw, it's the fucking <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> don't put it up to your throat. Mark, that's where your cartoid artery is. Mark! <laughs> oh God, this drill is going to end up going up your nose and in your brain or something, isn't I it? I hope, I'd like Boss to be, to know how much I've been selling this. This is a good bit of kit. Just come on with it. God save you such a drama queen. God, that is not you know, safe. You know the gas. Oh, oh. Hang on, hang on. That's gonna fall in your head. Just don't talk, just do it. Your arms look really good, you're going to oh, love I'm this so bit. Oh, I'm so close. Mark, this doesn't look safe. Don't put it on the, on the wall because that's just been painted. Light on the floor. Mm -hmm. things. This bit's easy now. I can just think about things. Don't, this is where you're going to hurt yourself. Why, so why do you get to this state when other people just come in and just unscrew things and just take it away? Right, do you want to know what I did? Oh, look at that. Hang on, Nad, do you want to know what I did? Mum, it's not on properly. Nad, Stop. oh my God, careful. So I took this off. As I was putting it down, it squeezed shut against my stomach. And then he was... Ah! Oh, my God, you're so fucking...
Can you crack the ceiling? And then he went. I have you just cut yourself? <laughs> I squeezed my stomach fat with the And then binge, turned around. Turned around and, and got a face full of fairy. Oh no, he did. just smashed your hand on me. Is it bleeding? Stop it. <laughs> Literally, it went like this. It went. <laughs> and I went. <laughs> you just Wait. did it again. What is no, this? No, pretty what is that? <laughs> Move over there, move over there. Go away. Because I'm about to do something oh. With a knife. Move there, <laughs> Just watch your eye with this fairy. So yeah, what we're discovering today is that any domestic setting, any home, any series of rooms in a home is a microorganism. It has its own sort of biodiversity. One part of the chain affects the other chain. It's a interdependent, biological slash tip of a interconnecting, interlacing, interconfiguring, disruptive process. You move one thing from one room or empty one drawer, just one drawer in this household, and it creates a displacement effect elsewhere in the biotectonics of the house which means that you shift one thing from one place and then suddenly everything shifts in another place and it ends up somewhere else. I mean, it's it's a forever... It's like that game in the arcade, you know, where you put a two pence in and it would land and then it would just get heavier and heavier, the lip, the, the lip wouldn't it, of two peas and they'd never fall. It's an incredibly interconnected, biodiverse climate ecosystem in this house. So decided to break and eat an apple. And whenever I eat an apple, there's always someone reliably waiting alongside me for that apple core. Yes, what are you doing? Oh, something's alive. Is it constant then? Mark? Is it constant? The itch? Yeah. I mean, like, so itchy one has to go down and scratch it, it's just like unbearable. So itchy one has to what? Has to bend down to scratch it. Well, that in itself must be exhausting. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> but I don't understand what's worrying you. This is so weird. What is weird? I've had it on and off in the past and it's weird. Oh, for God's sake! Mark! What is it? I can't myself from it. Why don't you stop itching it? Just stop itching it. Every time it scratches, it itches, just hit it. Don't tell, that is not, don't tell me it is hurting you to sit down for a minute. What do you mean it's unbearable? It's, it's an now itch. It's unbearable because, yep. I don't know how, I don't know how else to say it. Imagine having an itch that's so bad that you want to tear your leg off. <laughs> You've had itches like that in the past, so remember, when you had crabs. <gasps> No, I'm joking, she never Right, oh my god, is it? You have, since this morning, gone on about this itch. Now is the right time to ring the GP. It's now cut, which is Because you've been itching. Yes, so that kind of explains why suddenly it can be so shocking, allegedly. <laughs> so I mean, there's nothing to look at. I mean, even a dermatologist would go there and go, well, 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 well then that? why do you keep telling me this? It's fucking itchy. Right, ring the GP. Is it symbolic that we've got a crash mat in our room? I can't believe we've got that crash mat now holding everything up. I can't believe the... Well, I haven't got time. Come on, we've got I to go. We've got to go and see Barbie. Yeah, well, I haven't got time in a minute. I'm a Barbie girl. In, in a Barbie world. world. Fantastic. And Made of plastic. plastic. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Ah, 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 ah. Come on, Barbie. It better be bloody good, this one. I want it to be bloody counterintuitive. 
I want it to fucking confound me. I want it to surprise me. I want it to make me think things I've never thought before. It want to make me feel so <laughs> Hey guys. Oh my God. This is amazing. We're both so tired. It's fucking exhausted, but when you're offered a preview well, we screening of Barbie, what are you hoping for from it now, other than ugly well, Ryan Gosling? My, no, no, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm going to fancy him in this. Oh. Because he's Ken, Ken, isn't he? Um, I've just realised something. What am I hoping? What? Gosling is an acronym of Oglings. Oh. So you're going to be Oglings Goslings? No, not really. Okay. I, as I said, I don't really fancy Ken. What does but Ken wear under his pants? Nothing, because he hasn't got pee. Is it just a ovoid mass? Mm. Yeah. So, what am I expecting? Well, I love Greta Gerwig. The director. The director. So I'm hoping for a surprise. She really puts her real heart into her films. My God, I absolutely love her. Lady Bird. Lady Bird. It's good. Um, and... Different I women. love Margot Robbie, mm -hmm. and I, well, I totally, she was surprised. I think what I'm looking forward to is I'm going to be completely surprised, because I have no idea what she's done with it. No, I don't think anyone does, which is why there's a strict embargo on reviews. Um, Will Ferrell's in it. Uh, I mean, I'm expecting, obviously, a very feminist slant yeah. to it. Yeah, I think apparently I've heard in one non-spoiler review, and it's not really a review, I've heard someone who's to be trusted say that the ending will dramatically divide people. Oh. Dramatically. As to whether... As to whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, what it's saying. Right. Well, she'll be... It, whatever it will be, it will be a very clever thing. There you go. Even so. if I don't like it, I think I will respect it. The popcorn junkies are at the Barbie screening. Which means we're about to go event. into the real world. There's, yeah. a, there's an event in there with people dressed up. Popcorn. Yeah, they're all in pink and I've got a swearing nun. <laughs> and I've got a nice tits t shirt on. <laughs> There was a queue outside curling around the block. We should tell the story later of yeah. our Elton Rocket John, Man. Rocket Man. Oh, damn, we stumbled oh, through. God. Not only, and then we went into one, oh, it's the most cringe thing ever. We stumbled our way into the most exclusive screening of the two screens in Leicester Square for Rocket Man. So Nadia's already collapsed on the No, you, you can't tell, you've not, but no, this is not the way to tell the story. You have to build me up as a white prat first, I've then... I've thrown you under the bus no, straight away. No, you started with the end of the story. No, no, I said you fell. No, you're not remembering the story I want to tell. Which story are you wanting to tell? Right, exactly. So don't jump in telling stories I want to tell my story. Are. Well, you tell your story. I'm telling my story. So, we went into the wrong one. Anyway, all I remember from that night was stumbling around in a cinema screen, asking someone to move, who I think was the senior executive producer of Rocket Man. It was like the proper chair. I've put my phone away now. I'm not sure I've turned it off. What are you going to post? What happens? You've got to turn it off, you donut. Why did they give me this? So that you don't record it. I was in a massive party, pink dress, and you just fell down the stairs with a glass of red wine. And then I'm going back. I'm so sorry. I just, I can't go. No, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. So we're here at the Barbie um, premiere, and there's quite a few Barbies around, and I just don't want any of them to talk to me. And I don't know what's that. Why Barbie. didn't you come as Barbie? Huh? Why didn't you come as Barbie? I'm really, really worried. I've got this thing where I can't hold the popcorn properly. Do you ever get that? No. I can't hold the popcorn properly. Well, that is not a good thing when we're the popcorn junkies. But I don't stop ten people can't hold popcorn. I don't think I can hold popcorn properly.
I got some blinds in Kiki's room. I thought I was doing quite well. And then I discovered this. So, I've got one bracket out. As you can see, not in the raw plugs. Why? Don't tell anyone I misjudged it, but they, they kind of threaded in okay. And I don't think people are going to be tugging hard on, um, on the blind. But look at this. I'm going to show you this dilemma. So I've got that in on that side, and I've tested putting the blind up, and it slops. Here's the other bracket. Doesn't fucking fit in the gap because here we need to. So a little bit like dentist. I'm drilling away at the tooth next to it. That's what they'd say, isn't it? Drilling away at the tooth next to it in order to slot the crown in. So now I've got this and a hammer. I'm gonna try and peel it out. Just gonna get the hammer. See what I'm doing? Basically, trying to get that. I'm sure that's not good for the wood. Hook it kind of underneath the builders, neighbours. My God, you must lose so much weight doing this. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Pathetic, I know, but hey. 